This is the iTech 300 Spiral Planar Thicknesser with mortising attachment, which is sold separately. It's not included as standard, but for this video, I'm gonna give you a run through of how all the features work. You immediately see here that the machine's made using high quality components. It's robust, it's heavy duty. It's got ribbed tables chunky pillars, a heavy duty table for the thickness of digital readout. I'll go through all of this in a bit more detail, but for the purpose of this, you can just see exactly how well it's made and how good value for money this machine is. It comes with as standard a spiral planar block. Yes. Spiral is included as standard, which is yeah, one of the differentiators for this product that we sell against many of the other machines on the market. These spiral tips are made out of tungsten carbide. That's standard. So they last much longer than HSS. You get a lot more life out of them. And of course you can rotate them four times. Some of the other dealers out there um, would say, you know, tungsten carbide insert spiral blocks aren't that great. They bind up very easily. You'll spend a lot of time replacing tips but actually they're self-setting that's a great feature of them and the, the they don't tend to bind up with resin at all they're very easy to change they use torx bolts here see um not allen keys so they don't you, you don't you won't ruin a head or anything like that you won't cross a thread we've never had a cross thread in fact um and they're very easy to set and um crucially they give you a much much better finish and um, they're very, very quiet to run. Spiral's the future now. Um, so that's why we include it on the iTech 260 planer, which is the smaller version of this. Um, we include it on the bigger ones as well, the Duo series, the Twin 450 and the 630. And on the mid-range machines like these ones, the 300C and the 400C, all come with spiral, spiral as standard. And, um, yeah, well, when you see it running, you'll understand why, because it's just a game changer. So setting of the fence, that's always very important when it comes to planers. So with this fence, we've got a large bracket on the back with two fixing points, an easy to read angle positioner. All you do is once they're released, which they are, push it, find your position, tighten each knob, And then push on it as hard as you can, and you'll see there's no there's no movement whatsoever. You simply lift this handle, which unlocks it. Find your position. I'm doing this one-handed, so for argument's sake, we're going for twelve. Lock it, and again, there's no movement there whatsoever. Dead easy to set, really, really rigid. Bar can be set in three positions. So obviously we can set the distance of the guard from the fence relative. So you tighten that there. The pitch of the guard, here. Yeah. and the height of the guard using this knob here. So that's all locked in place. That needs to come over a little bit. So very easy, safe work in there. Adjusting the infeed table is just done by way of this metal knob here. So 
So to reduce the height, we use this gauge here next to the planer, in feed, and pulling it back down to one mil. So that's dead simple. There's also a knob here for the outfeed table, but that shouldn't require too much adjustment. Then to open the tables, no. surface painter, to thicknesser, what we do is release that handle there. Release this handle on the outfeed side. Ensure that the fence is retracted all the way back because the tables open towards the front of the machine. Obviously this machine's got the mortising attachment on it, which isn't normally included as standard. Well, it isn't included as standard as an optional extra. So that needs to be out of the way as well. And then we can just simply pull the tables over, move that lever. Table one. Table two, and then we'll flip the hood over. And there's an interlock in there. It won't start unless that interlock's engaged. Now we're operating the machine as a thicknesser. So we have two readouts that we can use. If you prefer to use the ruler, there's a ruler here, or there's a digital readout, and that's included as standard. So some people, some other companies will charge extra for that. We just include it as standard. Adjust the height of the table. We're gonna go all the way to 150 mil. Look how precise that is. So 100, 100 spot on there. We're just going to lock it off using this kip handle. So that will not move. That's exactly 150 mil. We've got the anti kickback fingers here. We've got a serrated in feed roller. Obviously, the bottom half of the spiral block, and then a metal out feed roller. Right, so now we're going to run a piece of wood through it, through the thickness there. So to do this, it's dead simple. Press this screen button here. The machine's now running. Really quiet. We're going to engage the thickness feed. So it starts to make a little bit more noise when that's running. I'm going to put this work piece in. The finish is absolutely spot on. Perfect. Okay, disengage the feed. Turn it off. And we reduce the table a little bit. Pull the hood back over. Lock the table in, just in case. Back to, back to planer mode. And now we can run it as a planer. So that covers pretty much the machine from surface planer to thickness, sir. Um, unfortunately, I can't do the mortiser today because we've run out of time. However, the mortiser is controlled by a lever here for forwards and backwards. There is a stop there to control the depth. And then 
left and right lever. So fairly simple, but you can see it's made to a robust standard like the rest of the machine. You can see the stop there as well for left to right movement. And obviously rise and fall. So hopefully you found that useful. Any questions, feel free to give us a call on 01403 273 triple zero and that's a UK number or you can email us at sales at scosarg.co.uk that's sales at scosarg.co.uk and we'd be very happy to take any inquiries from you thank you